Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If your computer or laptop is stuck on the diagnosing your PC screen and doesn't proceed to load the operating system even after waiting for a while, then this tutorial is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue step by step. First, you need to force shut down your computer. Just press and hold the power button until your laptop turns off completely. Next, we'll boot our laptop into advanced startup mode and I'll guide you through exactly how to do that. First, turn on your computer or laptop and wait until the Windows logo appears on the screen. When you see the Windows logo appear, or in my case, the Dell logo, that means the system is starting up. Depending on your computer brand, you might see your manufacturer's logo, like Dell, HP or Lenovo, instead of the Windows logo. Either way, this indicates that the boot process has begun. Press and hold the power button to forcefully shut down your laptop. Now repeat this process. Turn the laptop back on, wait for the Windows logo, and once again, press and hold the power button to shut it down forcefully. Do this a total of three times. On the third restart, turn on your laptop, and this time, do not shut it down. Wait patiently. You should see a message on the screen that says, Preparing automatic repair. This indicates that your system is entering advanced startup mode. Give it a few moments and you'll be taken to the advanced recovery screen where we can begin fixing the issue. As you can see, we've now entered the advanced options screen. Here, click on the advanced options button. Next, choose troubleshoot and then click on advanced options once again. You'll now see a list of recovery options. From here, select command prompt. If prompted, select your user account and enter your system password. If the system does not ask for login credentials and the command prompt window opens directly, you can proceed to enter the necessary commands. Now, we'll begin entering a few important commands to repair our system files. First, type sfc forward slash scan now and then press enter. This command will scan for and repair any corrupted Windows system files. This process can take about two to three minutes to complete. Once the scan completes, and as you can see on my screen, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Let's move on to the next command. Type bootrec forward slash fix MBR and press enter. This command will repair master boot record. Next command, type bootsect forward slash NT60 SYS and press enter. This command rewrites the boot code on the system partition aligning it with the NT60 standard used by modern Windows operating systems. Next command, type bootrec forward slash fix boot and then press enter. This command installs a new boot sector on the system partition using boot files that match your current version of Windows operating system. Now type the next command to rebuild the boot configuration data. Finally, we'll scan and check for any disk errors. Now type chkdsk forward slash f space, then type your Windows installation drive, which is usually the C drive, type C colon and press enter. This command may take a while to complete as it goes through three stages to thoroughly scan your drive and fix any disk related issues. Please be patient while the process runs to ensure all errors are resolved properly. Windows has successfully scanned the file system you can now close the command prompt and click on continue. As you can see, my system has booted up without showing the diagnostic error. This method should resolve the issue and get your computer back to normal. If this video helped you fix the issue, then don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.